In this lesson, we're going to continue talking about patterns, and we're going to talk about triangle patterns. We're going to identify what they are and how to use them. What we have to keep in mind with triangle patterns is they're not necessarily used for trading purposes on a minute-by-minute -minute basis. What I like to use them for is to identify a potential larger trend developing. If you can identify the larger trend that's developing, you can trade in the direction of the trend. We always want to be trading primarily in the direction of the trend. For example, if the larger trend is up, we want to be buying pullbacks because the market is going to lift in concert with the larger trend. Conversely, if the larger trend is down, we want to be selling rallies and be able to short the market taking advantage of the pullbacks in the larger trend that is down. Of course, the inside bar patterns and wedge patterns, they help us to that exact effect. However, there's another pattern that I like to identify on the larger trend, which is triangle patterns. So let's discuss a little bit in depth about what a triangle pattern is and how we use it. It's quite simple. Before we go over to the charts, I want to just give you what's called an idealized version of a triangle pattern so that you can get the picture in your mind before we go look at the chart. So here we have a clean slate. We have a blank chart. And what I want you to do is just picture the market going back and forth, back and forth. So the market goes down, the market comes back up, and it continues trading in a range for a while. This could be a period of hours, it could be a period of days, or longer. The point is that the market is going back and forth, but what's happening is, as you can see by this drawing, it's getting narrower and narrower. The trading range is getting narrower. The tops of the range are getting closer to the bottoms of the range. So what's happening here is by virtue of the market trading in a narrower and narrower range, the market is essentially drawing a couple of trend lines for us. We're going to get deeper into trend lines, but for the purposes of this lesson, I just need you to understand that the market draws trend lines. We don't draw them. We only connect the dots. The market is the one that actually draws the trend lines by telling us certain price levels are important. Let me show you what I mean. So here is a triangle pattern completing. And what you'll see here is that on the top of the triangle, you see we're making a series of lower highs. At the bottom of the range, we're making a series of higher lows. That creates the triangle. And so the question is, how do we use it, or can we use it, or what do we use it for? And it's quite simple. If, for example, in this diagram, the market was coming from a higher point and then began to develop the triangle, the likely scenario, and again, not 100% of the time, nothing is, but the majority of the time, what you would find at the end of the triangle is the market would resume moving in the direction from which it came. And keep in mind, if the market came from a higher level and consolidated like you're seeing here in this diagram and then went lower, you could say, well, that was a bearish wedge pattern or a bear flag pattern, a bearish consolidation pattern, and you're right. But what we can use the triangle for is to further help us determine what the next likely move is going to be. And the fact that the market creates the triangle gives us more evidence that the market is going to continue moving in the direction from which it came, in this case, downward. Let's go ahead and take a look at one of these on the chart to get a real look at what happens in the market. So here we're looking at a daily chart of the ES contract. And remember, we want to look at the larger trend, and that's why I drew the triangle using a daily chart, so that we can get a good bird's eye view of what's happening from the larger time frame, the larger picture. Inside the triangle, keep in mind, there are plenty of trades in here. That's not what we're talking about. I just want you to be able to identify the larger trend, which certainly helps us trade on a shorter time frame. Remember, the trend is your friend, 
we want to be trading in the direction of the larger trend that's what makes our trading life easy or I should say easier nothing about trading is easy but easier so as you can see we're at the top of a market here and then we had a nice leg lower and the market began trading in a range making a series of lower highs and higher lows forming the triangle so if we move the chart over you'll see what happened when we got to the end of the triangle or in this case close to the end of the triangle we broke lower out of the triangle and the market continued lower so when you draw a triangle or you find an area on the chart where the chart is essentially drawing the triangle you're just connecting the dots you'll know the closer you get to the end of the triangle the apex of the triangle that's at the point in which you know the market has to make a decision and break out of the triangle one way or the other and typically what you'll find is the market will break in the direction of the original trend in this case it was down with this big down move here the market started making the range and then we continued in the move of the original direction it helps us to identify the larger trend so that we can take that information and use it in our shorter term trading efforts it's just that easy we don't want to make it any more complex than that I just wanted you to get an idea of what triangles are and how best to use them